Most of us have heard of the song, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. It was about Satan tempting a young boy named Johnny, making a deal with him that he could Johnny in a contest of fiddles. He would get his soul. But if Johnny won, well, Johnny would get a fiddle made of gold. That brings us to tonight's tale. A story from Mississippi musical history, as well as a history of the Delta Blues. Sold, soul to devil to play blues. In 1930, there was a young man by the name of Robert Johnson, whose desire was to play the blues with his guitar. Unfortunately, when given the opportunity to play in front of a crowd, the crowd was very disappointed in the young man's talent. He was gone for a few years after that. Then three years later, he returned to the stage with a different outcome. His music and talent was so great that many musicians to this day consider him to be one of the pioneers of rock and roll. The list is extensive. But how did he gain such a talent in so few years? His entire career musical wise only lasted half a decade tonight we explore his tale what really happened on that night at midnight when mr johnson found the crossroads. Before we get started, if you enjoy my channel and my content, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe as it really does help the channel to grow. Feel free to leave a comment or two. And don't forget the bell overhead. Now let's continue with tonight's devilish tale.
My name is Robert Johnson. And I have a tale that now I can speak of as I draw closer to the end. A few years ago, I found myself at a crossroad. Told to go there by someone's advice. I really didn't think it would work, but I cannot argue with the result. You see, I've always loved the blues. And I've always, since a little boy, had wanted to play in front of an audience and make this my dream. But a lot of people don't think I have the talent. So I decided to take a chance. Me and my guitar at the crossroads. Waiting at midnight. After a few minutes, I felt a cold breeze. And in the sound, a law's dog howling at the full moon overhead. I only had a guitar, so I was a little okay, I was scared. I can't lie about that. This thing sounds huge. And only a few feet from me. But the sound it makes. I could tell. <clears throat> came from the heart. The melody was magical. My spirit connected to the sound. The harmony. The soulful tone and how I wished I could capture the blues like this dog has done with his soulful howling. I sat down on a stump and began to tune my guitar. When I heard someone walk up, there was no horses, nowhere for this man to come from. I looked up at him. He was tall and thin. A lot taller than me. 
He was in a black suit with a black hat. And black gloves. I get Taw was strapped to his back. And under the hat, I can make out the whitest and whitest teeth. But his skin was the darkest color. I have ever seen anyone possess. He looked down at me wearing sunglasses and that smile got bigger. The words he spoke Took me by surprise in a deep, dark voice that sent chills up my spine and made the dog howling become silent. Robert Johnson. I have been waiting for you. So you want to learn the secret and the art of playing the blues. My boy, you have come to the right place. For underneath this bright and full moon, I will give you a chance for your dream to come true. I only ask one small thing in return. The voice made goosebumps go up my skin. Once again, I was scared. Although he wasn't a broad man, his tone, maybe it's his awe, I don't know. But something told me to take my guitar, turn around, and walk away. But the words he told me, my heart wanted. I want to be the best. The best blues player or musician in the history of the music. The stranger reached around for his guitar. He played a few chords and it was magical. It reminded me of the dog howling at the moon. The tone, the melody, how it all 
was so smooth a sound. He was a master. And he was willing to train me to be the best. I rose from my stump. Guitar in my hand. And looked up at the man. Who still towered over me. At least a foot and a half. I asked him. To show me. And teach me. Because I want to be as good, if not better, than him. His voice came back to me. And what he said made my heart sink. For it went against everything I was raised and taught in a good Christian home. And when he said it, I knew exactly who the stranger was and what he wanted. But was I willing to go that far to be the best, be the greatest? For wealth and fame and to feed my dream and turn it to reality. This is what the tall stranger said to me. <clears throat> Mr. Johnson. I offer you a choice. Become a legend. Make the music you love. All I simply ask is that you give me your spirit, your vitality, in short, for your soul, I will make you the best blues musician to ever be. You simply. Give me your word. And become. The best. Will you do that? Mr. Johnson. For seconds, I really didn't know what to do, but I felt my hand coming up, and I shook his hand that night. Where four roads meet. I agreed to his terms. And I gave him. The only thing I had to give.
He stayed true to his word. As I became a legend. Yet even as I wrote the songs, and played on my guitar, the magic coming from my fingertips, many I found related to the dark stranger. And what I know to be a hound from hell howling underneath the moon that night. I had whiskey. I had women. I had everything I desired. For five years, and it all started where Highway Forty Nine met with Highway Sixty One. Four dirt roads making contact the way I died was not the best way for those five years I was the best the greatest Robert Johnson is a name that history will never forget. And even though the price was steep and the time was short, my dream came true. And for those five years, I had everything I ever desired. But as all things come to an end, so did my fame. And when my spirit rose up, for my dead body. The tall man was standing there. The gigantic hound was beside him. And there was a guitar strapped to my back. As he led my soul. To a place that you never want to go. But I went. That was a deal. So when you listen to the songs I made, the ones I created. Remember my tale. Remember what I did to the music in industry. It was a steep price, but I willingly paid it. And given the chance, I would again. For my spirit opened their eyes 
I had a smile on my face. Because I knew exactly what was going to happen to me at that point. But the road I left was irreplaceable. And that, my friends, is what happened to me on that one faithful night at the crossroads. The legend has Robert Johnson who achieved his talent so quickly that many believe he did sell his soul to the devil in Rosedale, Mississippi back in the 1930s. Eric Clampton made a remake of his song Crossroads that mentions Rosedale and Mr. Johnson. Even Led Zeppelin was influenced by the man. He was even given a part in the movie, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Did it happen? I don't know. I can't say. But that's a legend of Mr. Johnson. If you enjoyed that, then come back next week. As we explore Missouri and see what kind of cryptid, legend, or spirit that can be found in that state. And as always, remember, be aware of those that lurk in the Shadowlands.